Today, I want to share with you my Bryce's progress in recognizing letters as well as tips on how to get your toddler identify letters and name objects in a Bryce learning way. Always remember these four steps. First is to expose your child. Second is to introduce your child to the concept. Third is to do repetition with him or her. And lastly is the reinforcement. Welcome back to Bryce Learning with Mumsy Joy. If you're new in our channel, I am Mumsy Joy, a preschool teacher and a mom sharing Bryce Learning that stands for bright, realistic, year-long, creative, and engaging learning for young children like my cutie patuti Brycey. And today, I want to share with you my Bryce's progress in recognizing letters as well as tips on how to get your toddler identify letters and name objects in a Bryce learning way. I know it's always been our pride as parents or teachers if our young children can do this or do that, right? Especially at young age when our young ones show off their skills and abilities. Of course, we as parents or teachers are more than happy and more inspired in helping them grow and develop more skills. So join me and find out Bryce's progress in recognition of letters. I use this book for her to recognize letters. So let's see how many words can she recognize now. Ready, Bracey? Sit down, baby. Ready? Alright. Okay, good job. Okay, let's start. So let's recognize letters. Letters! Okay, let's start. And this one. A is for? Is for balloon. Good job. Yes. C is for. What's this? C is for. Cat. Good job. Now D is for. Dog. Dog. Very good. E is for. Elephant. Elephant. Say elephant. F is for. Flower. So we're done. Next, G is for gold. H is for house. Yay! Next, I is for what's this? Igloo. Next, J is for say it properly. J is for jar. K is for is for lamp. Yeah. Very good. Next. M is for monkey. N is for nails. O is for orange. P is for big. Q is for queen. R is for Oh, you want Teddy to be with you? Okay, next S is for? No! What is this? S is for? No! 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 no. I say T is for? Train. Train. Very good. U is for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Umbrella. V is for? W is for? Yes. X is for? Salafone. Yay, yeah, we're almost done. Y is for? Yo yo. Again, 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 again. Y is for? Okay, let's continue. Z is for? Say it properly. Z is for? Again, Z is for? Pika. 
Zebra, yeah, very good. So she was able to recognize all the letter objects. Mommy. Yeah, yes. Okay, now let me share with you how did the cutie patuti Bryce able to recognize letters as well as the letter objects at 19 months of age. But of course, we have to bear in mind that our children learn differently in different ways. Sometimes it depends on their interest or it depends on their attention span. Even though what I'm gonna share with you are Bryce learning steps or techniques for your little ones to easily comprehend basic concepts that you want them to learn. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. First step is to expose. If you want to capture the interest of your child, let him or her explore the learning material that you want him or her to comprehend. Like my Bryce, we bought the alphabet book for her when she was 13 months of age. Since then, she started to explore with the book by clipping the pages and looking at the pictures. Likewise, she started saying the word book and became so interested with it. So every time I would say, we want to learn, so she will know already what to get. Like, she will get her book. That's how she started. And also, that's when I came to realize that it's time to move to the next step, which is to introduce the book to her in a proper teaching. So I allotted time for her to learn ABCs or to learn the alphabets. So I guided her to identify letters and recognize each letter object. At first, she was just listening and pointing at the pictures that caught her interest. Then, as time passes by, she started to imitate the words or the names of objects that I'm introducing her. Let's learn A is for apple. Okay. Say apple. Okay. Say B is for balloon. Say balloon. Oh. C is for cat. Say cat. Oh. D is for dog. Say dog. Oh. Very good. E is for elephant. Say elephant. Oh. Good job. Now F is for flower. Say flower. Oh. Very good. Next B is for goat. Say goat. Oh. Good job. You made H is for house. Say house. Good job. I is for igloo. Say igloo. Good job. J is for jar. Say jar. Very good. K is for key. Say key. Good job. L is for lamp. Say lamp. Very good. Okay, let's go to the next page. The M is for monkey. Say monkey. Very good. N is for nails. Say nails. The O is for orange. Say orange. Say orange. Y is for yo-yo. Say yo-yo. Good job. Z is for zebra, say zebra. Good job. Okay, let's go back here so that we can continue. P is for pig, say pig. Very good. Q is for queen, say queen. Queen. R is for rainbow, say rainbow. Before we the letters first. Say rainbow. Oh, wow. Look at this right here. S is for sun, say sun. Say sun. And she doesn't have any more. So you want to learn about numbers? Let's learn about numbers. Game over. This became one of our daily activities, which is the third and the most important step. Repetition of the basic concepts that you want your child to learn. It's good to do repetition with your child because gradually your child will get interest into books as well as your child will get more excited in learning. And what's important, you have to put the books or whatever learning material that you want your child to learn, put it somewhere that is very accessible to your child so that every time she wants to learn or she wants to read the book, it's easy for her to just get and do it on her own. So moving forward, Bryce was able to identify and name 16 letter objects at the age of 17 months. This one, A is for? Papa. Apple. Very good. This one, B is for? Moon. <coughs> this one, C is for? This one, D is for? Dog. Very good. D is for? Elephant. It's elephant. Oh. This one, the elephant. This one, F is for? Flower. Very good. Next, G 
D is four. Gold. Okay. H is four. How is great job. I is four. Zero. Good job. 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 M is for monkey. This one N is for nice. Good job. Gold is for orange. This one P is for P. Yeah, this one Q is for this one. Good job. This one R is for rainbow. Good job. This one S is for sun. Very good. P is for this one U is for umbrella. This one D is for this one W is for this one X is for and this one Y is for Yo Yo Pika. This one Z is for Horse. Yeah, you can put yourself in the middle. Although she cannot recognize the letters yet, there is an increased growth in her vocabulary that she can use it in her day to day activities. Alongside with the repetition is reinforcement of the basic concepts that was introduced to her. So how can we do the reinforcement? We can do it in her other daily routines, like when we see an object that we can find in the book we can use it to emphasize the letters. And the other way around, when we see letters, we can encourage our child to identify them and name the letter object that relates to the letter. Just an example, if your child loves to eat apple, so you can use that apple to reinforce what she had learned. So you can say, A is for apple, or apple starts with what letter? A. Of course, you can find letters everywhere. Take that opportunity to identify letters and the name letter objects that you can find in the book. Hence, these are the four price learning steps to get your toddler easily grasp the basic concepts that you want your child to comprehend, like recognizing letters. Just to give you an update, now Brycey can recognize some of the letters even without looking at the book. So I think it's not just memorization, but it shows that she was able to comprehend the concepts or the letters that was introduced to her. I think this technique will also work with your children. So again, always remember these four steps. First is to expose your child. Second is to introduce your child to the concept. Third is to do repetition with him or her. And lastly is the reinforcement. I hope that this will also work with your little ones. I hope that you liked the video. If you want more tips for your growing up toddlers, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell for more updates. Also, if you have questions or suggestions, please comment down below and I'll try my best to respond to it. Thank you and get ready because Bryce Learning with Momsy Joy sending positive vibes your way.